वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फ्रेंड्स आई एम नेहा फ्रॉम द क्राफ्टी फ्लेमिंगो एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू मेक अ किचन टावल होल्डर विद दिस यूजिंग दिस ब्यूटिफुल एम डी एफ कट आउट एंड वील बी यूजिंग अ डेकोपाट टेक्निक ऑन इट सो लेट स्टार्ट विद इट सो फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द जेसो टू गिव इट अ बेस आई एल यूज माई स्पॉन्ज डैबर एंड वील स्टार्ट गिविंग डूइंग So our base is done. Now uh, we are going to first do the work on this. Let's keep this aside. I have selected a beautiful sunflower tissue over here. So let's cut this out. I want to keep it like this. Uh, this thing here. So I will. just use a water technique to cut the tissue Our cutting is done. 
see it will be like this so I have cut this thing out now first let's paste it I will first I will uh, dry the edges because it is wet make sure you dry the edges while I will take out the ply the layers of this tissue one layer and there is another layer taken out the layers now we are going to paste it and I will use my brush and decoupage glue here I am using a fabric red mod podge today and in my most of the videos I always tell please keep your glue brush separate it's it's really very necessary to keep your glue brush separate and from the colored brushes because that ruins your if the color is left and you use it for glue the color will bleed out from the brush and your project will be spoiled so make sure I always keep my glue brush separate I'll apply a thin layer of glue over here. And very smoothly and nicely I will keep it my tissue I will take a transparent this this kind of a sheet and I will press it keep it over it and I will press it so that the tissue doesn't get teared and the bubbles are also gone they will all bubbles will not appear if you use this technique so nicely press it like this so it's done now I will first dry it then I will do a top coat because the base is still wet with the glue I will first dry it Now I will put another layer of my glue I will take a generous amount of glue now and I will layer it this I used to seal my project if one if I do the varnish which is the last step just to make sure that the color doesn't bleed out and my project is not spoiled so this glue seals the project especially the tissues I will dry this again So it is dry. Now I will take 
cut these edges how i am going to do i am using a sandpaper you can get it from any hardware shop and i will cut the edges like this see a nice and crisp it is the edges are out extra tissue how nicely the edges have come out because this portion will go inside i am going to rub this off let me clean this up see it's nicely done let me clean this first then we'll start another part so we are going to paint on this now the second portion this and this for that i have uh, chosen some colors from this uh, tissue i am going to use green over it which is olive green i am using acrylic color okay i am using my another sponge dabber first i'll take generous amount of color in my brush i'll load my brush with color
to remove the strokes brush strokes I will use a sponge dabber So this is dried, yeah. And now, first let's complete this this part. And now I'm going to do a stencil over it. I have chosen a stencil, a beautiful stencil, just to match with this uh, color of the sunflower. I have I have this beautiful butterfly stencil. So I will do a stenciling, let me have my stencil brush. So here it is, my yellow color, I am using acrylic again. take some color on my palette yellow I'm using a stencil brush you can use a sponge as well so here and there I place it and load my stencil brush in color but I will take out the extra color dab it and will take out the extra color from it very nicely and I will pick it up see how beautiful I do some stenciling here also See how beautiful it came. So our stenciling of this is done. I'll keep it aside to dry. In the meantime, I'm going to paint this also. Let's me let me wind up. 
from here now for this I'm using because it will be covered with the, the roll the paper towel roll so I am just painting it with brown I'll load my color and I will just simply paint it brown I will dry it so that I can hold it from here. I'm not coloring whole of it because some of the portion will go inside and we have to sand it otherwise it will not go inside that hole let's dry this and then I will sand it dry let me see how much portion is goes inside this see it's stuck now because the layer of colors has come up and so I am going to sand this here is my sandpaper yeah. Let's see how much it goes inside. Chalo. Now this these two pieces are done. We'll do some stenciling over this also. So I have chosen this stencil just very little of it I'm going to use and for that I'm going to use a little bit of black I have my black color here I will take some little black over here I load my brush, take out the extra black
just a very little of stenciling here and there that's it I will take also to give it a depth I am using a dry sponge I will take some brown color in my palette and some black color and will dip my sponge in brown and little bit of black and just take out the extra and do it at the edges like this So rub it off like this so see the extra depth is here you can see the edges handle also so this is done let me first clear my table so these my uh, let me wipe my hands they are getting sticky So these three uh, pieces are complete. Now for let me clear my table. I'm going to rub this little more. So the final thing, varnish. I'll take my varnish. I'm using Aquador PU varnish interior. Uh, it's a big jar, so I have taken uh, the you know smaller quantity in another bottle so that it is convenient. So varnish is to seal your project. In, if you want to clean it with the white uh, you know wipe it with wet uh, damp cloth you can do that and nothing will happen to the colors or the tissue that you have applied varnish is a must step to be done over any project Take a varnish, 
do it over this also So varnish part is done. Let me first close the lid and then I am going to dry it again. Now we are going to assemble it. It has to be assembled like this and this. It will go nicely. See, I hope uh, you are able to see and uh, this is how it will look. So see, this is how you can paint it at the back also to give it a nice look. and. Uh, this is how it will look you can see so put a paper towel or a foil paper roll here and uh, it is a beautiful beautiful object to keep in your kitchen your kitchen it will enhance your kitchen it will beautify your kitchen so see So I hope you like this session this project and do try at home and this thank you so much for uh, watching the video and please 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 subscribe and please share the my youtube channel so that more people can join in and uh, watch the video and learn this beautiful art so please 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 share and subscribe and like my page my page and my youtube channel the crafty flamingo thank you so much for watching have a great day bye bye